Hey guys, it's Regant here and you probably still remember my video a few months ago where I showed you how to purchase and set up a server from gPortal. And yeah, today I'm gonna show you how you can set up mods for your server. Um, I'm also gonna guide you a little bit through the purchasing system uh, because some things has changed, there's a new layout, so we're gonna go through that real quick too. So here we are on the gPortal website. One thing first, um, gPortal is my partner and if you're gonna use the link in the video description, you get 10% off your server every time you click on the link. And I'm also gonna get a small part from this, so you're gonna support me too with this. And yeah, if you need a more informative guide, I would say about the purchasing system, make sure to check out my old video. I also uh, explained there how to uh, import your single player world and get it onto a multiplayer world. So make sure if you don't want to know that to check it out. But yeah, we're gonna start now. Here we are on the gPortal website. Here you can, you already see we have here a Minecraft server. You also can order Minecraft Bedrock servers here, but we're gonna use this one now. Here we have some uh, options we can choose of or we can create our own configuration. Here, for example, we're gonna take a Forge server in the newest version. Let's take this here and then we can choose the gigabyte we want for our game, uh, for, for the server. Then the duration, I'm gonna just take three days because I'm just showing it uh, to you. Of course, the avail available locations, I'm from Germany, so I'm gonna take this one. Depends, uh, yeah, you have to choose which one you need. Depends where you're living. Then we're gonna continue. And I'm gonna pay with my balance here. You can choose from pay, save, uh, PayPal and credit card and bank transfer, of course. And then we're gonna press order. Here we can instantly activate our server. And then we can either go to the game server configurations or go here, my servers and scroll to the bottom. Here is mine and this is our new server. Click here and we get the settings now. So here you have the server address that you can join in multiplayer with or your friends and some general informations here. And we're gonna need this information here, the FTP access data. So you see the IP, the port, the username and the password and all of them we will need right now. So to continue, we need the program file Zilla. I'm going to link it to you in the video description so you don't have to search it by your own. And then we have to take the login data here, the IP, type it into server, the port, type it to port, the username to username. Don't worry, this is G the German version for me. Um, so you will have this everything in English. And I'm also going into this in detail so you see every single step I'm doing if you're gonna hit it to any problems. So if you're gonna see any problem, you can exactly say, hey, I had a problem from this to this step. So now just connect and we're gonna press okay. And here we are now connected to the server and normally on this side here on, uh, should be a mod folder. We don't have it here right now because we haven't started the server yet. So if you have this problem, make sure to start the server once and then take it down again. Or yeah, or do it multiple times. So we're gonna just start the server now. We're gonna wait now like 30 seconds and then you can again turn it off. The server stopped now. It will take a, a, a short second. We can close the filezilla then and we're gonna restart this program too so we make sure that we don't cause any problems. So the server is stopped now and we're gonna restart the program. So here we are, I'm gonna log in real quick again. So here we go, now connect, okay, and you see the mod folder is there. So now we can start installing mods on our server. If you, if you uh, approach this problem, then make sure to probably stay, uh, turn on the, uh, the server, leave it online for like five minutes and then turn it off and wait a bit. Um, yeah, if you gonna, if it's not gonna be there, then just ask in the comments or contact the support, but I'm gonna link it to you also in the video description. So now we have to go to the website, the following website. 
curseforhotch.com. Here we can now search our mods. I'm gonna also link the, uh, this website here into the video description, but we can now choose Minecraft here and then we can go into categories here. I'm gonna press mods because we want mods. And then you see we have many mods here and now you can categorize it also if you want something for armor, uh, tools and weapons, cosmetic, education, food, magic and so on. Uh, you, you can also choose for example forge because we have forge now on our server. You could also choose fabric but yeah depends on what server you have. And yeah then you can go through it here. We have apple skin mod, journey map, clums. Like we have many mods here but we're gonna just choose now the just, not, just enough items mod just to show it to you. And then we, here you're gonna have a small explanation what the mod is for and then we have to go into files and here you see a big list uh, that is not filtered yet so make sure that you're gonna choose the correct game version i think we started the server at 1.19.3 let's recheck this again so here we are basic settings and we're gonna put this to 1.19.4 because this is the newest version right now and then we of course have to log in again on FileZilla to make sure that we have the, set, uh, the correct uh, mod installed on the server. So I just reconnected on the server and then we go back onto the website. Here we are and then we can choose the game version so there will automatically be applied a filter if you click on it if we're gonna go for 1.19.3 you see there's only 1.19.3 versions but we don't want this one and press here and then we need to download the file not install very important so after you installed the file we have to uh, download it the file never mind we have to go back onto our filezilla and put in the take the mod and get it into the mod folder here okay it said it's a success uh, by the way, don't worry, this is on the left side is pixelated, there are just some private datas and yeah, it's just pixelated for me. Um, if you're gonna download it, it, of course it won't be pixelated for you here. So you see, we have the mod now on our, on our server and now you can start choosing more mods on CurseForge and install them. Um, but we are fine now and the mod in is installed, I think you, uh, you will now know how to install the mod for your server. So back in the settings, I'm gonna show you real quick how to what is new you probably see the new design here um if you are used to the old one you can get, go back to the old interface here this is probably more f familiar to you if you haven't used the new one the new interface but yeah let's go through this real quick here you have the server address that you need to join your server here's you have the usage of the cpu um and yeah you can decide if you need a bigger or smaller server of course the ftp data here and yeah some basic settings here you have the mods the version um yeah the server name if you want to change it the world selection um that i explained in my last video how you can import the single player world into the multiplayer world for example the world name the world seed like you can yeah I, i've gone through all of this in my old video the only thing will be that it's in the old interface here I think it's a little bit different it's just it's a little bit different design a little bit older um, but it, in general it's the same like the new interface so don't worry if it's just looking a bit different the settings will still be the same for yeah here's for example also the whitelist and I also gone through all of these informations here in my old video so if you want to get explained everything here make sure to check out the old video so this is again the end of the video. I really hope it helped you to install the mods on your server. If you need any help, you can either ask in the uh, comment section below or you can just uh, go on to uh, join my Discord. I can personally help you then if you have a problem. We solved many problems. Um, like we solved every single problem uh, with there now um, that anyone had on the Discord and asked for help. Or you could just contact the G portal support. I will also link the G portal support uh, phone number that is available yeah and if you have any problems with that where i can't help you or you want to reach out instantly to the to the g portal support make sure to contact them so 
this is the end of the video. I really hope you liked it. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And then hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.